Okay, guys. So um, from the emotion prediction uh, data set from Kaggle, I trained a convolutional neural network with many convolutions and max pulling layers, a lot similar to the other videos. Okay, guys, I mean, the goal of this video is to show you, you can save it as an H5 file, send it, send it to yourself, whatever, download it, whatever, and then upload it in your Google Colab drive, and then file path of the H5 file. Kiros.load model function, and now you can do a multi-class prediction. Binary, if that's what the model was trained on. Okay, so before we get started, this is the data set. Now, most of the times they spell it out, you know, the, they label it for you, like what a class label means, but one way to do it is find out the order of the labels. Usually they spell it out for you, but they don't. Okay, zero is angry, one is disgusted, two is fearful, Three is happy, four is neutral, five is sad, six is surprised. Remember, they always start with zero. Okay, so show the image. Prepare, and the model was trained on 384, which means if your input shape or target shape uh, will both have to be, your input shape was 384, well, then your image size would be 384. Use the different size, then different size for this. Okay, read, and then it's on this index, and then prepare. Gary Busey is MP argmax to compute these array of sequences. X, he's zero, he's angry. Now, let's go to this uh, fake smile, which should be this is kind of a false prediction because this should be happy, but it's neutral. But then again, when you look at, this doesn't look very, uh, this looks kind of fake anyways, I mean. So maybe artificial intelligence is right sometimes. Maybe it is neutral. Anyways, let's go to the next one. Because remember, four, count. Okay. Now, she's crying. Yeah, she said. NPR max Z crying. Okay, guys. Remember, this is how I, I did a previous video a long time ago, how to do binary class prediction. Remember, with binary, you can do percentages of a prediction. But you can't with multi-class. It'll just spit out a label.